Hey there, it's Jack Gately. How you doing? And I'm just going to be setting up a quick tutorial today on MLS PIN. MLS PIN is the MLS service that handles uh, the ma vast majority of Eastern Massachusetts. And uh, it's a different service than, of course, uh, the Cape Cod MLS, which uh, handles Barnstable County for the most part. But for MLS PIN, uh, I wanted to show you three things today. Uh, so that you could just use the MLS in a most basic fashion. So we're going to show you some search, some map search, how to use contacts, and um, how to use what we call the virtual office web, which is a web page that allows your clients to log in and find property. Okay, so let's start with basic search. So we click search and uh, wait, of course, for it to load. There we go. And uh, this is your basic interface here. We're going to pick single family. Um, these are the defaults. New, active, price change, back in the market, extended, reactivated. For the most part, you're going to keep those the same. Why don't we say we want three bedrooms? So over here, we're going to put in three bedrooms. And then down here, we're going to click in Plymouth. Boom. Slide that over here. Put the uh, arrow button there. So now it will show up here. And uh, if we go down here, we can click count, which is going to give us the total number of results that uh, factor in for that. But we can also search for other things. For instance, we can say open houses in the next uh, seven days in Plymouth, three bedrooms, of course. And ooh, there's 18 of those. And um, anything else? Oh, time frame. Usually it's set at the today minus six months. Now, if we want to look in the back, uh, going back, when you can go back many years, all you do is change the things that are written here. If you want to sit six months, we can change it to six years, whatever you want to write there. Um, fairly easy to do. If you want to look, that's a especially helpful if you want looking for sold. So you have an idea of what property and you think it's sold in the past, but we're going to stick with six months. A little tip under street address. If you're looking for a type of street that has several different words in it, like for instance, um, Mountain View Lane, uh, gosh, different real estate agents might write that differently. And so I would just simply write mountain. Uh, therefore, you're probably gonna catch everything under that category. If you don't see it, then you might actually have to use something like MTN uh, because is Mountain View Lane Hmm, is that two words or three words? I don't know. And of course, different people may write it the right different ways. So we've got a current search here, which is single family homes, new, active, price change, back on market, extended and reactivated, uh, three bedrooms with open houses in the next seven days. There's 18 of those in Plymouth. So up here, we're going to hit search now. And we're going to get our results. Give it a quick second. Here we go. Here they all are. And anything where you see those balloons, uh, that means the listing has an open house. And here's your basic listing. If we want to learn more about it, we can click the blue uh, MLS number, but it, get, it gives you the first picture, the written description, uh, the listing agency. Here's actually a listing from my friend of mine, Integrity First Real Estate at 554 Bourne Road. There's a uh, open house on that. And here's all 18 of our properties. Very interestingly, on almost every search that you do, at the bottom is going to be some great information. Average living area per square foot, average list price, uh, average living list price per square foot, and days on the market, which is DOM, and average days till offer, which is DTO. So from there, you can take a look at any particular house that's on the market. You can click here and uh, then you're into the particular listing. Give it a quick second to load up. There we go. Up here on this drop down menu, you have a number of different re uh, reports. The full report is going to be the report that's available to uh, members of the MLS and the public report is going to be the report that you send off to uh, a client, for instance. So here's your basic uh, MLS report that would be available to the public. If you want to email it, uh, then you do. If you want to email it, then you just click the envelopes up here and then up comes the dialog box so that you could email it. 
Okay. And if you want to learn more about that uh, listing, this book icon over here includes the public record for the listing. This is going to be some vital information uh, as you move forward, especially if you're building a listing, but we'll do a separate video on that. So let's go over and click a map search, map search, and it works very similarly. Um, I use the uh, standard polygon uh, drawing option, which is here. If we want to just draw a polygon, you just, again, hit draw. The little drop-down menu shows up. I hit the one on the left, and that's going to allow me to draw like this just by using the click of the mouse every time I stop any type of shape I want. And then that's based upon the criteria over here on the left side of the screen. So it pulled up everything that was active on um, my criteria, which was uh, just, uh, only single-family houses, active single family houses, uh, no price range. I didn't, I didn't put any bedroom requirements or anything, but everything's for sale in that part of town. So it was fairly easy. All right, you can experiment with that, but it's fairly straightforward. Now we're gonna go over to contacts. Contacts is when you have somebody that's contacted you that's looking for uh, a property. So we go to new, when we get over here to contacts, there we go. And you're going to um, put in a password for them. It's actually the first thing that they ask for. I usually use my last name. There it is right there. Uh, my full name, actually, I usually use in lowercase. Otherwise, if you leave blank, a random password will be uh, generated for your client. Then at the least, you're going to put in their name their email address, their phone number, and their current street address, all of that is very helpful, as much of this information here as you can. Then go up and hit the Save button and hit Save. Do not hit Save and Close, just hit Save. After that, you can move on to the Search tab and add a search to, their, um, con to, to this contact. And when you add a search to this contact, it is going, the computer, the MLS service is going to um, assign listings which meet their criteria. When they uh, do that, um, they will be able to log in on a website that we'll show you in just a second so they can see listings that meet their criteria and also get notified when new listings meet their criteria due to, due to the power of what we call the reverse prospecting aspect of the MLS pin. So that's going to be looking constantly for listings that meet their criteria, the town, the money, the bedroom size, all of those types of things, and immediately ping them with an email once something uh, hits the market in their criteria. Even if that hits the market because of a price drop, it will, hit, it will also send them an email. And that email will appear to come uh, generated through you. So once you set up the password and fill in their information here, then what you're gonna do is go over to tools. Don't forget to add the search. And you're gonna go over here to virtual office web. And up at the very top, what we call VOW or the virtual office web is an address, highlight it and copy it, and then drop it into a uh, email. And in this email, you're going to write to your client something like this. Uh, Dear client, thank you so much for allowing me to help you with your property search. Um, please visit this website. And then you're going to copy and paste this particular email into it. Your login is their email and the password that you set. I would recommend once again that you set the password as your name because that allows them to remember your name once again. And uh, once they do that, they'll, they'll be able to log in and um, find the properties that meet their criteria. So just a little quick basic MLS PIN um, email tutorial. Uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask or email jack at jackgately.com. Thanks and have a great day.